Tony, I love the fact that you pitched for some business in the Q&A of the last one. Fantastic. <laughs> and I hope all the rest of the speakers are going to repay the favour today. Um, we've got 40 people watching along, so I am going to shut up very swiftly and hand over to you, Tony, from Builder. You've got 10 minutes, and I'll see you at the end of that. Thank you. Um, I wish I could shut up, really, and people weren't watching me, so I'm not really very good at public speaking. But um, So we are a builder. We are a startup been going in probably a year now. We're down at Tolvadden um, on a little business park down there. And we're pretty boring in comparison to what everybody else does. Um, but what we are is we're, we see ourselves as an enabler in this picture, and we're infrastructure guys. So... Uh, our core business is hosting, so we do VPS, dedicated, we can provide you servers, co-location, um, all that good stuff right here in Cornwall. Um, we have a one gig circuit on uh, 10 gig bearer, so pretty quick bandwidth. Um, and we've got the ability to host 15 racks. So what you can't see around the corner is there's a little hosting facility there. Um, and what we wanted to do was to Put our money where our, where our mouths are really i mean i've been i've been in building systems and hosting apps and all sorts of things for a lot of years and paying other people to do it and i thought i want to do this in cornwall and it doesn't exist um we've been working with goon hilly on building out their data center helping them build out the hpc platform they've got down there um we do consultancy and and if you can see around me, there's some hot desks there as well so if you're looking for some with a hot desk that's got a lot of bandwidth or the ability to um, put some kit on the floor and play with it and give it an IP address. Um, come on down and spend the day with us. That's that's what we do. Um, so as far as the aerospace connection goes, we have got a bid in with um, and with Marine Eye for two elements. Um, the first element is we are building out some mass storage in Cornwall in the petabyte range. Um, and we're offering remote accessed GD, uh, GPU solutions on the back of that. So th the premise behind that is I think data is increasing and we've we just seen some really interesting things um, about people collecting huge amounts of data. Um, and I don't think this is a little bit when my vision comes in um, entrepreneurship, but I don't think it's going to be sustainable to copy terabytes of data over the internet, process it, copy that terabytes of data back over the internet. Um, so what we want to do is to build out a repository where you can store aerospace, marine space data um, and those huge data sets and then we'll provide remote access GPU based solutions so you can remote in, use all the computing power you want, um, process the data in every, any way you want and leave. Um, and also with COVID, one of the things is that the world has taught us at the moment is not everybody can go into the office so it's been very disruptive this year to businesses that had to have their employees go and sit in front of a workstation run some processing or whatever um that's been very difficult so we spent last year building out solutions so people can rdp into us and they can use huge amounts of gpu power if they're that way inclined um one of the benefits you know i guess everyone's gonna say you can do that with amazon but one of the benefits of us is it's a fixed cost that will give you a price for it you can use as much as you like there's no egress costs, no bandwidth costs, no spikes, or um, so you can pay a fixed amount per month for all you can eat. Uh, you can pay by hour as well if you want to do that. Um, and you know where your data is. It's down in a little place near Tolvalen or down at Goon Hilly if you're that way inclined. Um, on the marine side of it, we are taking that technology and building out an edge compute device. Uh, and that device, it, the intention is to put it on a ship you can remote into it with RDP over a satellite and it will take data direct off the sensors on that ship. You can process that data on the ship um, and all remotely from anywhere in the world. Um, and the reason behind that is because ships are expensive. At the moment, they send the boat out, they survey data, boat comes back in, upload the data, process the data, you've missed a bit. Then the boat has to go back out, you know, and there's a, there's a huge cost to that. So processing data at the edge, I think, um, I agree with the Sequoia guys, is, is going to be very, very important um, in the future, just given the data sets. Um, it's going to raise challenges of getting that data from wherever it's been collected back to somewhere where you can process it. So that's, that's really what we're about. We're about building infrastructure and really supporting all these great ideas you've got um we can build and host out the hardware to whatever scale that you want to scale to 
um, to in order your uh, in order to enable your applications to to work. Um, and that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I, sorry, I haven't got any slides. It's very very boring. Um, and I guess if you've got any questions, guys, I'd love to hear from them. I'd be interested to know whether you think we're crazy or you know, kind of what you think we are, really. But, um, you know, we, we want to do this in the heart of Cornwall. We see all these great companies around all, all writing software and using data and things like that. And we're really positioning ourselves to support you guys in providing the infrastructure required in order to do that, whether that's centralised or whether that's at the edge. Excellent. So first off, Tony, round of applause from everybody watching along. I'm not sure I deserve it, but <laughs> how many of the forty-seven people do you think are giving you an applause right now? Uh, all, of them. all of them. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> of course. Um, I've got. We've had a question come in from Brian, but I've got a quick one uh, to ask myself. Um, in the closing session today, we're going to find out about the offer from Aerospace Cornwall for ten thousand up to ten thousand pounds worth of funding for working yeah. with the equipment you've mentioned down in Goon Hilly. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about what they've got and what they're building out in their data center down there? Uh, I can, because we're building it out for them. So uh, the, the, the actual data center itself, we, we haven't been involved in that, but it's a, it's a tier three equivalent facility. Um, they have 30 racks, I believe, at the moment. They have dual redundant AB power, dual redundant connectivity, Everything that you could possibly imagine in, in a proper commercial data center is down at Goon Hilly. Um, and on top of that, they have a high performance compute platform. That's the bit we're building out for them. Um, and that's some HP Apollo kit with six V100 GPUs, I believe. That's a serious amount of processing power. Um, and we're building that platform out to them. So uh, hopefully it will be an element of it will be self-service. So you can hop on there buy some GPU time, process your AI requirement, are we going to process, hop back off that. Um, and, I, and the way I see it is between between ourselves and Good Hilly, um, we have an offering that fits in with every customer, whether you're a smaller person that wants, you know, you can't afford the supercomputer time down at Good Hilly, we can help provide that. And if you're someone that's grown beyond what we can offer, then you move on to that more um, professional environment that Goon Hilly has and that more um, professional level of GPU power. Uh, there's a whole lot of really good things going on at the moment uh, in Cornwall in terms of providing infrastructure for people. Um, and I think we'll see a lot, lot more of these um, solutions available to you. We don't, we don't write software. We don't get involved in the, the applications. But I think if, if you do, and I think Sequoia is a good example of that, there are people locally that are able to build out what you need in order to take that to a, a scalable um, customer facing offering, if that makes some sense. So, I mean, Goon Hilly doesn't really need any introduction. Everybody knows what they are. They know the history, they know the professionalism of the, the organization. Um, and there's some exciting things there in terms of what you'll be able to take. I don't know what that grant offers. Um, I'm the first to hear about it here, but they've not heard that before. But I suspect it will be um, some co location or some GPU power or. Um, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> we'll have to turn up to that final session. That was the first time I think it's ever been publicly announced. Um, and I think I probably shouldn't have done it. But hey, <laughs> what are they going to do? Um, we've got a question from Brian. What is your security process at your own data center? How safe is the data? Uh, I, that is a bit of a loaded question. You know, what, what, what is your security process? I think in, in terms of physical stuff, um, we have a load of AI security cameras within um, our building, and I think you can see one on the wall there behind me, stuck up there. Um, so we have a number of those. There's cameras across the site. Obviously, the, the doors are locked. There's um, uh, alarm systems in place uh, that automatically ring the police, that sort of thing. Um, we have uh, UPSs. We're looking at sticking a generator in on the back of that. Um, so it's kind of got all the normal physical processes and security that, that you would want. And then within that, we have um, monitoring systems, for example. So if something fails, we get notified about it. Um, and th this is the thing that I really love, the fact that we're in Camborne. I live in Truro. I can jump in the car and be here in 15 minutes. So if something goes wrong in the middle of the night, you know, we have 24-7 access and, and technical people available to, to go and deal with it. So um, 
I would say our security is no different than anybody else's and of, of a professional level. It's no better or no worse than you would you would see anywhere else. Physical security and um, processes and procedures within that as well. Uh, backups, for example, we've got systems that do backups and things like that. Um, I was just looking at this question, will 6v100s run crisis? I, I wouldn't like to say what your frame rate would be. You might get 1080p just if you're lucky with crisis. I think anything else should be fine. <laughs> crisis is a computer game, isn't it, for anybody who's it, not a fan? I think it's known for being resource hungry was the, the uh, thing there, but yeah, it is. Perfect. Um, I've got a question of my own. Um, told Adam to Truro, do you just run a very long LAN cable all the way up to your house for to tap into the bandwidth that you've got? Uh, I, I run a VPN and um, the, the bandwidth is interesting because uh, most most wireless it won't, won't keep up with the bandwidth, but we've got um, a 1300 meg wireless connection here and if you've got the right laptop or phone or whatever you can get the full one gigabit out of it um, but we can scale that up to 10 gigabits and beyond that if we need to yeah. but it's, it's impressive and um, one of the things that we we're trying to push is we've got a few desks here and we would invite anybody that wants some bandwidth or some ips or to do some testing or whatever just you know just turn up and be our guests and come and say hello I mean, I might send my video editor over to you because he's currently got 200 gigabytes of stuff to upload to YouTube. So uh, bring it down. Yeah, he, he, it he get it done in it minutes. Down. Bring it down. Excellent. Um, I wonder if as a final kind of wrap up, um, when people are thinking about hosting large data sets, so we're talking about the data sets we've been hearing about so far. Yeah. Is there anything that people should keep in mind when they're considering uh, host for that data other than builder are obviously the best solution for that in your opinion I, I, guess. I, I wouldn't even go so far as that I think it's horses for courses and, and you need the right solution for whatever your problem is but the, the issue that I'm seeing in the world is increasingly seems these things are getting huge and you need huge amounts of bandwidth to be able to copy it so a terabyte of data for example would typically take 30 days to copy from a from home to somewhere and that and in the scale of things that we're doing that's it's not that much you know we're talking in the hundreds of terabytes for data sets these days so i think the world is facing this problem of we're generating all this huge data and what do you do with it um and for all of the businesses in cornwall and th this really came out of what we were doing with the marine industry ourselves we we're generating hundreds of gig of data um having it in cornwall is great because you can go to it that's the real advantage for Cornwall. You can go to it. So you can take a terabyte drive, bring it down here and plug it in. Or you can take a terabyte drive, go down to Goonhilly and plug it in. It, it's, you're not having to copy anything. You're not having to wait days for that data. And once it's there, I, I think the difficulty is then processing it because dragging it back over the internet can take forever. And that's where the RDP GPU solutions come in that you can just remote onto one and process that data. And it never leaves the building. So it's flying around the building at 100 gigabits. You know, you can throw huge amounts of data around really quickly within the building. So when it leaves the building and getting it to the building, that that's the, the main. Yeah, Paul Clark, never understood the bandwidth of a truckload of tape. I, yeah, bring your tape down, Paul. <laughs> bring it bring it down and we'll plug it in for you and just store it for you. But it, it's that issue of um, getting data from A to B, I think, is, is going to be the killer for people. And the advantage in Cornwall of having us and Goon Hilly here is you can drive to us. You can drive to it. You can't do that at the data centre in London with you know, 20 terabytes of data or something. Very difficult. No, that's a very good competitive advantage that you have when talking to businesses in Cornwall. It's fantastic to know that we've got that kind of stuff here. I'll, I'll tell you the other example. One other example is we, we, because we're a small local company and we care about Cornwall, we don't care about London. They can do what they like there. But, you know, we'll, we'll cut you a deal. If you need access, we can give it to you. If you need whatever it is you need we can we've got the flexibility in the will to to build that out for you um and because we're small and lean we can do it at whatever price you want to pay really at a competitive price point so our mission is to support all of these companies and to deliver that infrastructure to them at an affordable price locally really is what we want to do 
Excellent. Well, I'll be in touch with you to talk about some Dogecoin mining. Um, Tony, thank you very much for that amazing talk. It was very interesting to find out more about Builder. I'm sure people will want to get in touch with you. So please do hang out for a couple of minutes more, uh, if not longer. To everybody watching along, next up is Nigel from Bluefruit. So if you'd like to leave this session and head over there, I'll see you shortly. But once again, Tony, thank you very much for that very interesting session. Thank you.